what I'm talking about is arrogance and the expectation that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to do what I demand. So for instance, one of the salaf, one of the sahaba actually heard his, his son making dua. And the son is making dua saying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Oh Allah, uh, Allah Allah, give me the white castle on the right side of the entrance to paradise. Look at how specific his dua is. He doesn't just want Jannah. He wants a white castle in Jannah. And he wants the white castle to be on the right side of the entrance of Jannah. His father, who was a Sahabi, said to him, Oh, my son, I used to make dua with Rasulullah. We never used to make dua like this. Instead, ask Allah for Jannah. He will give you the best of it. Right? What does he mean by this? He's saying that when you are so specific about your dua, or you're asking for something so specific, you are acting like you are the God over Allah Azza wa You're demanding. You're not asking, you're demanding, right? And, my, and the example that I was giving about the fast is I'm saying to Allah, I'm going to fast and you're going to do this. Is that me being a, a, a humble servant? Or is that me being a, a demanding, someone who's demanding from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? I'm demanding, right? I'm expecting a specific reward. In reality, I should have fasted and with humility said to myself, if Allah Azza wa accepts this fast, he will give me what he chooses to give me. And when I do that, then Allah Azza wa will give me even better than what I would have wanted, what I was demanding, right? Because I was arrogant and my arrogance was influencing my ibadah and I'm expecting a very specific thing. This arrogance is actually destroying my ibadah to begin with, right? And then even though we expect from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the abd has a type of muhasaba, like, is Allah accepting my deeds? I need to work harder. You know, Ibn Umar radiallahu anh said, if I know with 100% certainty that Allah has accepted one sajda from me, one sajda, I would be completely happy. One sajda. Why did he say that? He said, because Allah only accepts from the muttaqoon. So he's, he's not sure that Allah has accepted for sure any of his good deeds. He's hopeful, right? He's, ex- he's hopeful of the reward. He's expecting that Allah Azza wa Jalla will reward him. He's expecting the generosity of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, but he's not saying with hundred percent, with hundred percent certainty, right? 